Today, we are going to talk about the art of patience and how to help our kids learn self-control. We all want our children to have a sense of self-discipline, and patience is an essential part of that. So let's dive in and explore some practical tips for teaching our kids how to be patient. First of all, it's important to understand that patience is a skill that can be learned and developed. Just like any other skill, it takes time and practice to master. One way to teach patience to our kids is to model it ourselves. When we are faced with a challenging situation, we can show our children how to remain calm and patient instead of reacting impulsively. When children are frustrated or angry, they often have a hard time controlling their behavior. To avoid this, we can teach them to identify and manage their emotions and help them develop better self-control. It's also important to set clear expectations for our children and to be consistent in our discipline. When we establish rules and consequences, our kids know what to expect and they are more likely to behave in a patient and controlled manner. We can also reward our children for showing patience, such as with praise or small incentives. We can also help our kids develop patience through relaxation techniques. It's important to remember that patience is a lifelong skill that will serve our children well in all areas of their lives. Wait, it's not over yet. I want to say something you've probably never heard before. Do you want your child to be a great person in the future? Then teach him to swallow anger. No one can do this except very patient and very virtuous people. And unfortunately, the number of these people is very, very few. Like an endangered animal species, there are several effective strategies to help children cope with and express their anger in a constructive manner. Teach emotional awareness. Help children recognize and understand their emotions, including anger. Encourage them to talk about what they are feeling and why they feel that way. Communication skills. Teach children how to express their feelings and concerns verbally instead of resorting to aggression or anger. Positive outlets. Encourage children to engage in activities that help them release their emotions in a positive way, such as drawing, writing, or physical activities. Problem solving. Help children develop problem solving skills to deal with situations that make them angry. Encourage them to find constructive solutions instead of reacting impulsively. Lead by example. Model healthy ways of dealing with anger yourself. Demonstrate patience and self-control when you encounter frustrating situations. Validate feelings. Let children know that it's okay to feel angry, but it's essential to handle that emotion in a respectful manner. Timeouts. Encourage children to take a break or timeout when they feel overwhelmed by anger, allowing them to calm down before addressing the situation. Seek professional help. If a child struggles with intense anger or anger management, consider seeking support from a counselor or therapist who specializes in working with children. That's all for today's video on the art of patience. We hope you found these tips helpful and we encourage you to try them out with your own children. Remember, patience is a skill that takes time and practice to develop. But with patience and persistence, our kids can learn to be self-disciplined and successful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.